Hello, everybody. This is my YouTube um, tour of Lakeview Manor. So, for those of you who don't know, Lakeview Manor is right near Falkreath. And after doing some missions for the, Fa um, the Falkreath Thane, you can... He'll say that he has a plot of land, or his steward will, and then you can buy this. Um, it's Lakeview Manor, obviously. All that you have is th these few workbenches. I don't even think that this workbench was here. Um, basically, you draw up your plans, get the tools from the anvil, put it here on the carpenter's workbench, and you build your house piece by piece. There's my stone quarry where you get stone, and there's there's clay deposit up there. Um, so I'll show you the outside of the house first. So, first things, I think this guy is very handy, and it's pretty expensive when you first buy him. Um, he can take you to any, not only any major hold, but also little cities inside of the holds, like Shore Stone. I don't even know where that is, but right. he can take me there. Ooh, power just flickered. Um, here's my horse. Um, I also bought him with the house. Lydia's, like, in charge of this house because I had to get someone who would and I didn't want my wife to. Here's my Hello, wife. My they can all live in your house. Like now here's a... I can't pronounce that. And you can get bees and sometimes honeycombs. Here's my back porch which I will show you later. I don't even know who this guy is. I like your robes. What can I do for you? Oh, he uh, he sings. I, better get going. I don't like him. But yes. I hired him. Um, here's my logs, here's my farm and my tanning rack with some cows and chickens, I can get some eggs, um, here's the, where my horse is kept, here's another farm that I walked right by, and it gives you so much, you plant one wheat, come back half an hour later, and it's grown and you can harvest it. And when you harvest it, it gives you four wheat. I think you can see that in the upper left. Um, but you can see from the outer part of the house that it is humongous. Um, you go up. Let's see. So this is my house from an aerial view, which is very bad. I'll have to go up higher. Um, yeah. Here's the house pretty big. There are hawks that fly above it. I have a little tower that you can get in through your uh, through the house. And there's some smoke coming out. Pretty cool. So now we go inside to a very boring loading screen. And we will be in it's sort of like a trophy room sort of thing, but very, very boring. I didn't put anything in here because I really don't like this room. It's sort of nice. You can do this all by hand. Here, I'll show you. By um, these, these are in every single room. You can remove them, but I don't want to because there's always stuff that you can add. Um, it doesn't show you, but if you want to add stuff, you have to like get that animal. Like for this, you'd have to get two tusks and some fur and some wood, which you can get near your house or from a merchant. And you can hold a lot of weapons here on these racks, or you can hold unlimited stuff in the chest because you can. Here is the main dining hall where people hang out at night and in the morning. Right now they're all outside though. Yeah, I dumped a bunch of stuff there. Here's the kitchen, which is huge, and here's my daughter. Um, it's a nice kitchen. There's a bunch of food. There's another thing that I can't pronounce. Yeah, nope, no idea. Then we have. Let's see, what's in here? Um, looks like a weird trophy room, but not at all. It looks like somewhere that you could keep, like, wine or something. Here is a. Another room. Guess there's a lot of useless rooms. Here's the storage room. This is what's called the trophy room that you get in the game. Like, when you make it, it says trophy room, and then you just can put it on the back, which, that's where I put it. Um, and 
Uh, so you can either get like the mud crab claws and stuff, or I just paid Yusalda a bunch of money to uh, do this for me. And then I come back in a few days and it's all good. Here's a safe that I did not know I had. However, I am starting a collection in here in this safe with only diamonds, but I only found two. Whatever. It's, it's a collection. Um, so now, going up to the second level, we have an um, enchantment table, another enchantment table, mannequin, which for some reason the duplication glitch that some people know about does not work on this mannequin. I tried doing that, it does not work. Uh, kid room. Um, that's out to my porch where we saw that guy that I don't like was sitting. Here's my room with my wife. Um, down to the basement. Um, an annoying thing about being out in the middle of nowhere is that there are always bandits or giants standing outside the front door killing the cows and chickens that you then have to buy again from Lydia or whoever you assign to be the person that you buy stuff from. Um, here's a weird door that I do not know why it's here, but I sort of like it, but I don't. I think it's really ugly and it doesn't fit a perfect wall, it's just an indent. Here are a child dummy, which is sort of creepy. I guess my, if I had a son, you would practice on that. Here's another mannequin. Here's where you would put the shrines, like Shrine of Akatosh, the Shrines of the Divines, and here Usually it's, um, you can fill up mead bottles, but I just did, because I like mead. It's pretty good. Um, and it gives you five bottles of mead, but it has a recharge time. Here's a blacksmith forge, an archery, target. And sometimes, skeevers are in your basement, but that's never happened before. I only read it somewhere online. But it's room it's sort of weird, because there's smoke in the basement of a wooden house. Like, there's wood, right here, and a fire. So, it's a good thing no one's inspecting my house for fire hazards. Alright. It's, it's a manor. It's humongous. I like living here. And that's about it.